Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here because today I'm doing a really, really special review of some products, a try on and all that jazz. Hence why I'm not wearing any makeup today. <laughs> I've just got out of the shower. I was going to do my hair and do all that for you before I got on with the video. But then I thought, what's the point? Because these products are serums, face creams and the foundation. Guys, I'm so excited about this video today. You have no idea because these products have been life changers in many ways. I mean, the foundation I will try on for you on camera and the other two I've been trying for a month already or so. So I will just let you know how they work while I put them on and I'll show you the bottle. So let's get on with the video. The first product I'm going to review for you is this White Caviar Illuminating Pearl Infusion Serum. Okay, now give me a moment because I was using this for four weeks and I didn't realize why my skin was looking this good. And I know that I might sound like the most horrible person right now who thinks that money matters. But when I found out the price of this, because La Prairie kindly sent this to me, the video is not sponsored, but they did send me this to try out because I love the brand and I wanted to work with them so much. When they asked me if I want this scent, I said, yes, please. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> I'd been using this for about four weeks. When I wanted to do this video, I went online to find out the research behind it. Because to be honest, I hadn't read about it before. Let me tell you, when I found out the price of this thing and the science behind it, it makes sense. So let's just have a read because I like to review products on what they claim because there's no point reviewing something on some what it doesn't claim to do, if you know what I mean. So the White Caviar Pearl Infusion product retails at $660. Now, when I read that online, I kind of understood the, the, the immense technology behind this thing and why it's supposed to be so good. So it infuses your skin with liquid light. The exclusive formula of this serum targets the age spots, the redness and the grayness and breaks through the three chromatic light barriers to an luminous complexion. So that's what it does. It's got active ingredients. So the benefits are is that you'll see youthful, luminous skin in four weeks. Ironically, I've been using it for four weeks. So are the results. I literally, I've got a mirror here, have been loving my skin. At the moment, I've got some blemishes and some redness, but apart from that, um, I've got rosacea around my nose sometimes and I can have redness on my cheeks, but this serum has wildly improved that situation. So let's just have a little squeeze of it. It looks like this musky pearly solution, which I'm now gonna rub into my face. So I've been using this before the cream every day. It's got a really, almost like a clean soap smell. I wouldn't say it's a soap smell, don't quote me on that, but that's what it kind of is reminiscent of to me. Once it goes on, it dries pretty fast and you can tell as you're putting it on, it gets this tacky feeling. Like right now on my forehead, it's already tacky. Now, as I'm doing this review, I must warn you and I must tell you because it's only fair that I haven't had any um, injections done. I haven't had any, you know, anti-aging stuff. So I really, 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 really rely on really great products to keep my skin in check and I'm not in my early 20s. So when I say that I really need my skincare to work, I need it to work. Sometimes it's fun to get a lipstick or something that's cheaper and really great. But I really think that these brands know what they're doing and they know what they're talking about. And that just has a lot of value. And the thing that I'm mad about, the prairie, is the fact that now you sent this to me, I'm going to have to bloody go and buy it again, aren't I, in the shop for $660. But what can I say? My skin is now feeling tight and taut. I don't know if that's supposed to be an effect that it has, but it definitely does feel that way and really bouncy and springy. And it almost feels like a primer the way the skin kind of feels a little bit tacky at the moment. I will tell you that $660, if you have it, is worth it. I'm not gonna recommend for you to buy it if you don't have that. Please don't stretch yourself to means that you can't, you know, support, but it's the active ingredients in it are definitely worth it. And I would recommend to buy it if you've got redness, grayness, or dull skin. The next product I wanna review comes in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. When this arrived, I could not believe how stunning you could make a product look. I mean, come on, it's silly. This is the Cream Caviar Luxe um, for the face, for, for Le Visage. Um, and it's a, a day cream for the face. So let's again read what it claims and then try it out and see if the benefits are true. And I'll tell you how it feels on the skin and things like that as well. This cream retails for 500 ml for $575. But 
it's got a lot of product it's a heavy weighty luxurious feeling container and i can't fault it i mean looks wise it comes in this heavy little tin with their signature blue and silver and a little applicator spatula. So the claims, what do we claim little cream? The skin caviar luxe cream infused with caviar extract refines as it lifts for firm and taut skin. Okay, that's pretty simple. So basically the active ingredients in this are supposed to help you with the firmness of your skin and that's what I'm all about. I really, really, really want to invest in my skin at the moment because that's the thing that's gonna last you. What's the point of wearing amazing makeup if you don't have amazing skin? So the cream is in there and it looks like that. I'm gonna just take a little bit on the little spatula. I'll probably go in there with my finger in the future, but for now, oh my God, I think I've got so much. I've been using this cream, you know, for four weeks as well. And I don't know if it's the serum or what that's improved my skin, but definitely I'm seeing some results because to be honest with you, I've been considering for a while about going in and getting a little bit of Botox done in my face maybe, you know, I think I've put too much on. Waste. What a waste. I've been considering getting something done because, you know, why not? Everybody does. But I, I really would like to prolong the youth of my skin because I think a lot of times when people get work done or Botox, it doesn't actually prolong how good you look. It kind of just makes you look different. And I love the look of, you know, done lips and done skin. And that's a look, but it's not going to make you look young. I just don't think that's what it does. I think keeping your skin healthy and your skin beautiful is what is actually going to keep you youthful. The cream is a kind of thick consistency and as it goes on the face, it disappears really well into the skin. It's not oily, it's not overwhelming and it's kind of breathable and light. And as I've massaged it into my skin, I kind of feel like it disappears in the time that I've just been talking to you. So it's nicely absorbed into the skin, which probably means my skin's been a bit dry. Yeah, I feel like I would leave this on for a couple of minutes before I go in with the foundation. I think this cream, along with a few other companies that I have really enjoyed using, uh, if I had to repurchase a, a skin cream again, I would probably repurchase that one because it's just got this beautiful tautness to it. it. It goes in your skin really easily. I hate the feeling of like an oily um, product on my skin. So thumbs up, I would buy it. I'd buy it if you have $575, I would buy it, definitely. Now onto the Hero product, which <laughs> there are reviews about, I guess. And that is the Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation in SPF 15. I'm using the color Honey Beige. It comes as a pot like this with a little concealer brush on the side. You can clearly use whatever you want. At the top, you have the concealer right here. And inside, when you twist the bottle, you get the foundation on this flat spatula situation. So let's read what it claims. In a blend of science and cosmetic artistry, this concealer will be the only one you'll need with its matching powder compact and mini brush. The caviar extract offers visible firming effects with the liquid foundation gives off translucent glow. It's a dewy finish, it's SPF 15, and it comes in a range of tones. The thing about this one is it's supposed to be anti-aging as well. So when you're wearing foundation, you're kind of helping with your skincare, which psychologically makes me feel really good about it because I wear makeup nearly every day, whether I'm presenting or I'm on camera or whatever. So I'm gonna take the little brush and I'm gonna apply the, apply, apply, apply the concealer as I usually do. And it's one shade lighter, or it looks that way, than the rest of the foundation. So I normally start at the corner of my eye. I go down to my nose where I get a little bit red. And I spread down on my cheek and around the eye at the top here to really conceal the under eyes and have a little youthful looking face. So that is what I do. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. I might conceal this blemish I've got here and some redness here, but I'll add some lightness to the chin anyway and to my forehead. Okay, so now the concealer's on. I'm just gonna leave that and I blend them together. I know it's weird, some of you might not like this, but I'm going to take the foundation and I'm just gonna dab it one, two, three, four. Add a bit more here to see how well it covers. Now I'm going to blend it in with this Paris Axe Professional Blending Brush. Let's get going. So first I'm gonna start on the neck. I've been really liking this brush actually. I don't know why, but um, it just really blends in foundation well for me. Starting on the chin, I'm gonna blend that in, and the cheeks. It seems to be giving a really good coverage as you can see. 
is blended in really, really well. And it's covering the redness on my face here, which is really, really good. I've stopped really using a lot of concealer um, or foundation on my nose because I feel like sometimes I'll just take the residual part and just add it on the nose here because there's already so much foundation. And when you've got a cakey nose, I feel like it ruins the whole look. And there is no need to put on foundation in places where I guess you don't need it. This concealer is very very good and the product is right you might not need to use another one as it's gone in perfectly and completely blended in the red parts that i have i'm gonna go in around the eyes here and put some on the eyelid for when i put on my eye makeup dab it in with my fingers a little bit sometimes the product works really well when you add a little bit of heat to it from your fingers so what do you guys think I think that it's the best foundation I've ever used. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I have tried it on before this review and I've been flabbergasted about how good it makes your complexion look. I mean, people have come up to me more so than they ever have in my life asking me what I'm wearing on my face. It basically creates this doll-like face. I know right now I don't have any contour, I don't have any blush, I don't have any of those things, but I woke up today with rosacea around my nose and some blemishes on my forehead. But as you can see, it looks fantastic and I'm really, really happy with it. It feels quite light on the face. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly heavy and you can't really see the pores very much at all. Let me just try and zoom you in. I think that's a really good representation of what this foundation looks like. I think the under eyes are, are pretty well covered and the look is very dewy and pretty. It's very shiny on the, on the cheek and I think it covers up really well and it doesn't make your pores stand out too much, which is really important for me because I've got oily, oilier skin. So when the pores stick out, that kind of defies the whole purpose of the thing. Um, I'm gonna apply some powder over top, concealer and things like that, and I'm gonna be ready to go. So anyway, that foundation, by the way, retails for $290, and that's quite a lot for foundation, but as I said, it's a skincare and a foundation in one, and I think if you have the money, it's worth it. If you don't, it's not, but if you're in that luxury market and you're looking around between the top brands of which concealer you can use, I think this one is the, I would say it's the best foundation I've ever used and the best skincare I've ever used ever. So that's my opinion. You know how to take it, but that is what it is. And thank you for joining me today, guys. I'm so happy to be chatting to you again and I'll see you on the next one, guys. I love you lots like Jetty Tots. Bye.